Arc Live. I'm your host, Denise Jones, and we have MCG. Yo, what's up? What's up, man? I'm doing good. How's thanks for having do? me. Thanks. Oh, thanks, thanks for coming. I by. almost went to the Arc Light. Because uh, <laughs> uh, my manager was like, yo, uh, you got to do this interview at the Arc Light. And like the phone was kind of choppy. So I showed up at the Arc Light. Nobody was there. <laughs> so I was like, oh, it's the Arc Live. So yeah. The Arc Live. Welcome back to the Arc Live. Mm -hmm. uh, man, MC Jin, dude. Yeah. You're here. Yeah. How crazy is that, man? Is it crazy? It's pretty crazy because really? you, you were, you're, you're, you know, you're a legend to a lot of people, and you created such a name for yourself not only here in the U.S. but you know outside of the country in Hong yeah. Kong. So, you know, dang, you started in Miami. Yeah, that's my hometown. You became the first Asian American signed artist at 22. You know what I always think about? I always think about how accurate that is. Okay. Like I was just, I tweeted just like before I showed up here at the yeah. Arc Light, you know, the Arc Live. I tweeted, I was like, I don't think I'm the first Chinese rapper. Well, you know, cause the thing, the reason I tweeted is cause even now, right? Mm -hmm. When I meet people or a lot of times when I'm performing and there's someone introducing me, right? Yeah. I usually have like a little paragraph. Yeah. And sometimes they do ask me, Jen, how do you want to be um, introduced? Yeah. And the thing they always go to is like, yeah, so you know, it's cool if I say, yo, we got the first, you know, Chinese yeah, yeah, rapper yeah. or first Asian American rapper signed to a label or whatever. And you know, I know what they mean. They're trying to show love and I appreciate it. But every time I hear it, first of all, I kind of like, cringe a little bit like oh right yeah not because i'm ashamed of it but i'm always concerned i think maybe like how accurate that is yeah um so i always ask people when they say different things they're like well you're the first one that i know of yeah and that's kind of like how i tell myself all right well, you know why it could be because you know before you i don't think there was anyone that did like a, like a a solo album like straight hip hip hop straight artists hip. that signed to it yeah, yeah. Maybe that's why yeah a solo a solo album and and you were with rough riders yes we're rough riders and now we're here in 2014 that yeah. was in that was 2004 in 2004, that was in 2004. we're in 2014 ago. yeah you was like what it's first grade probably. <laughs> i was pretty young you was in first was grade when young. i dropped my album oh i'm so <laughs> sad when, and then uh, when I was um, when I was like um, doing talent shows, I think you were maybe still crawling around. On I the was floor. I was supporting. I was like, yeah, right. Now, nah, but yeah, um, ten years. Um, I'm just thankful, like, for a lot yeah. of things. But that I can sit here and tell you of that I'm here, right? That yeah. to me alone is like number one. I guess what I'm saying is like that I have my health, uh, and along with my health, I have my peace of mind. But I don't think I've ever had had a more peaceful mind, and and just in my mind and in my heart, just being at peace. Interestingly enough, even like th during those years where I was chasing this dream, right, of becoming a rap star and watching it kind of come to life, yeah. it was exciting. But if you're like, yo, did you ever have peace during those times? Nah, no. quite the opposite. Actually, the more intense things got with my career, the less peace I got. Wow. Cause it was like, there was like pressure, there was expectations, there was, you know, yeah. and some of those were created by myself, some of those were created by my surroundings. But the one thing that was basically non-existent was peace whereas now some people are like yeah well jen you know he kind of isn't what he used to be or where he used to be and you know and they're looking at just as far as my career or they don't see me as much they don't hear from me as much and whatnot but i tell them i'm like yo i have peace because right? yeah. sometimes when they see me they're like they they feel more bad than i do yeah like I, I, what i mean is they say yo man if only you would have signed with cash money yeah you could probably be you know you'd be the chinese little wayne or something yeah. like that Mula, I don't know, <laughs> but I'm like, you know, meaning they say these things either to try yeah. to comfort me or they literally feel bad. Like, yo, if you would have put out that song instead of that song. And I always have to turn around and comfort them like, it's okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm glad things happened the way they did because I think all of that brought me to where I'm at now. Yeah, definitely. And you know what? For those that don't know, so yeah. you started off doing like, you know, secular music. Yeah, like yeah, you did, yeah. you know, you were Just, with Rough Riders yeah. and now... It's a transition into a more Christian rap. I don't want to call it Christian rap, but Here it's, we go. it's it, Here we go. Denise. I don't want to call it Christian rap because it's so much then more broad. It's so much then more. <laughs> it's so much more broader than that. Yeah. But in a sense, like you're not afraid to speak about about the My Lord faith. Yeah, and your Lord. faith, and it just it. You know, Christian rap has so many. It's a big umbrella yeah. with so many different, different things branches. Yeah. yeah. Um, but your delivery is still that organic. Yeah. You know, MC Jin that we're used to. Yeah. So talk about that transition and how, you know, how your Thank music you has played an impact. Thank you for letting me share about that. For me, I think the music is 
not only just not the most important thing, but I feel like it's way behind in terms of things that are more important yeah. as it relates to my, my faith and, 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 you know, my relationship with God, right? Yeah. I think most important is uh, you use the word about organic. So that's yeah. a great word. I love that word. And I, another word that I love is authentic. Yeah. Meaning, regardless of if I'm doing, as we call it, right? We love humans. We just love defining things with terms like, mm -hmm. oh, this is a comedy movie. This is a horror. This is Chinese food. This is American food. This is secular. This is Christian. Yeah. This is Buddhist. Like we just love putting things in boxes, right? Yeah. Um, and I understand that. I understand why there's a need for that. But from my perspective, it's like, as a, as far as my faith, it's like, I don't think God is looking at me or looking at, you know, uh, what I do and saying, are you doing Christian rap or are you doing secular rap? You know, my son, make yeah. up your mind. He's looking at what type of life am I living? Whatever it is I'm doing, what type of fruit? Like, what, what what's the outcome of it? Yeah. Uh, the rhymes that I write. And like I said, the rhymes in my, my music is so, like, not, not primary. Primary is, yo, how am I treating people? How am I talking to people? How am I handling my affairs with my, you know, business, people that I do business with? And just all of that. Um, but of course, being that my, my, my line of work or what I do is music and performing and writing, yeah. then I know the responsibility that I have with that platform. Yeah. And I think, you know, we do put a lot of emphasis on, okay, so Jen, tell me, are you doing Christian rap or is it secular rap? And I get it, but I feel like, why don't the music speak for itself? Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Um, sometimes, because I think we limit the way God works too as humans. Like we think like, we, we look at church and we, you know, tra you know, traditionally it is, and also in just society's mind, we look at church and we picture this building, we picture mad rows of seats, we picture it being mad still and you gotta come in and you gotta be all well behaved and perfect and you, you can't be, you can't have any flaws about you, right? That's what we picture it to be. But reality is actually, the, God, the people that God wants to come to church the most is the opposite of those people. It's the most jacked up, mad problems, issues. And it's not saying like, it's not saying like, yo, we, come, we want you to come here uh, and, and we want you to get your act together. No, just come here, be loved and, 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 and see how amazing God works. Yes. And obviously you have to respond to it, right? Because that's the yeah. one thing. So in that same way, I think we limit how God works outside of the church too. And we think that the only way for a rapper or a movie director to, to, to share the, the gospel, like we, that we call it, right? Um, is with a very specific, I gotta sit you down. Every rhyme, every line has to be about Jesus, God, John yeah. 316, get baptized. Those things serve their purpose too, but we can't limit God to just that. Definitely. I could have a lunch with someone and I could not mention the Bible at all, but that person may walk away. And this is by God's doing, not because of me. Yeah. But that person walk away and be like, Yo, Jen's man different from when I used to know him. What yeah. could it be? And then from there, it might it might lead into it's because of my faith. Yeah. So like for example, on the album I'm working on, right? You know, I'm working on an album, um, 1459. That's my album I'm releasing, and it's like, is every song about the Bible, Jesus? No. But even in the topics that I'm talking about, it may be about money. It may be about fatherhood. Um, Hopefully, and the goal, and I believe it will be like that, is when the people listen to it and they listen to what I'm talking about in the perspective, they're like, why does he think like that? Yeah. Why does he treat like that? Why does he value that so much, right? Yeah. And then that will go back to the original source, which is what God is doing in me. Yeah.